Hey there, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can connect LinkedIn, any version, so regular LinkedIn, Sales Navigator, or Recruiter, to your HubSpot account. So um, it's actually pretty simple. It's gonna be done through a Chrome extension called Wizza, so it's a free extension that'll be linked in the description of this video. Um, and when you have it, you'll notice on LinkedIn, you have this little pop-up here that is available on profiles. Um, so from here, what you can do is find contact info, like email and phone, and you can kind of pick what data you want. So if I do find email and phone, it'll take a few seconds and then find different forms of, of contact information for that person. Um, and this is on just a, a regular profile, but again, it works on any type of profile. Uh, what I can then do is save them to a list um, and I can automatically sync that to my CRM. So in this case, it would be HubSpot. So if I go ahead and let me just create a new list called HubSpot, I'll just put it in this folder, create the list. Um, for now, I won't sync it just so I can show you how it works, but contact info is here. I save it and then all these contact details and everything on LinkedIn is now available in my Wizza account. Um, and I have a sync button here. What you can do is actually set up your uh, CRM in here. It's super easy. You just sign into HubSpot and you can pick every single field um, and set if it overwrites. And, you know, by default, we have some, some default settings in the, in Wizza, but um, you can kind of map these as you want. Same on the company side. Um, so this is the contact. If I download this here, you'll see that there is a ton of data that's been automatically pulled out of LinkedIn in addition to the contact info. Um, so you'll get like companies, industry, company, sub industry, the headcount, the range, the revenue of the company, the amount of funding they've received, um, social media links, more funding data on each round, um, and their headquarters location, as well as kind of all that information that you see on the LinkedIn profile, like title and everything like that. So you can do these for a bunch um, and kind of sync these over to your Wizza account and then all in one shot, sync them over. Um, or you can do it kind of individually from here. All I'll do is hit sync. And then that contact is now synced over. So if I do view in HubSpot, all those contact details are now um, available, phone number, additional phone numbers if we found multiple for them um, and just kind of all set up and synced in the exact way you want with the LinkedIn URL. What's also cool is with that LinkedIn URL at any given point, if you want to return back here, you can refresh that scan. It'll recheck all those profiles. So if there's any job title changes, um, you can refresh the whole list uh, maybe in a couple months or they're at a new company, things like that. You can refresh that list and um, sync that back to your HubSpot and it's gonna make all those changes. So as things change on LinkedIn, the data is staying um, super up to date. So that's how you do it individually. Um, if you're using something like Sales Navigator um, or Recruiter and you wanna build a search, what you can do is, let me just put in VP of Sales for now in um, a location, which I can't find. Where is location? <laughs> okay. Toronto. Okay, so you'll see there's 2,500 results. If you wanted to sync all of these to your HubSpot account, you could just hit export leads with Wizza, select the data you want similar to before, 2,500, the type of emails you want. So let's say only work emails, and then you could start that and it'll export all 2,500. And then when it's done, same thing, you can just sync that straight to your CRM. So um, yeah, that's how you do it. It's pretty simple. Uh, when you do want to sync your CRMs, again, in Wizza, you'll just go to Integrate um, and then find HubSpot and connect that. Um, again, the link to the Chrome extension download will be in the description, um, or you can just go to wizza.com, W-I-Z-A.com. I uh, hope this has been helpful. Thanks for watching.